Hey creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to Library Macabre, where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my horror movie collection. I meant to do this in October, around Halloween time, just didn't get a chance. There was a lot of videos to make, a lot of things to do. Time was short, so I'm doing it now. So I'm going to show you all the horror films that I own right after the intro. So we are in my living room where I have all of my horror films and other movies on display. I don't know if you guys have seen my living room yet, uh, but here it is. I have all of my horror films on this shelf right here. And then I have more over here on this shelf next to my TV. And then I have a little bit more up there. And then these are just the rest of my movies. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of other genres. I mostly have horror. I like other genres, but horror tends to be the, the thing that I collect. So we're gonna start over there. And yeah, don't mind this, I had a leak in the ceiling and we fixed it. Uh, still got a paint though. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going over here. So on the top shelf, we mostly have TV. So I have my Scooby-Doo complete series a couple other um, seasons of other Scooby-Doo spinoffs Buffy Smallville which isn't horror uh, we have the 80s Twilight Zone series then the, the uh, 2000s Twilight Zone series Nancy Drew Hardy Boys which isn't horror uh, Invasion which is a um, <clears throat> like invasion of the body snatchers kind of deal it's a ABC show back in the day. Tales from the Crypt seasons one, two, three, five, and seven. I still have to get four and six. We also have the Tales from the Crypt Keeper series, which is the animated show for kids. I have season one, I have season two, and um, they never released season three, unfortunately but I do have a couple of episodes from season three. I also have season one and season three of the Tales from the Dark Side TV show. Friday the 13th, the series, season one. They have three volumes of episodes from the Hitchhiker series, so volume one, two, and three. Uh, <laughs> Dinotopia, the full series, that's not horror. I have Tremors, the complete TV series. Moonlight, the complete series. Vampires, but not really horror. I have Poltergeist, season one. It's an interesting show. Eerie, Indiana, the complete series, which is one of my favorite shows from when I was a kid. Continuing on with the television of Carnival, which is Horror-ish. It's kind of like a fantasy horror. Uh, so I have season one and season two of that great show. Never wrapped up though, unfortunately. Never got a finale. Was canceled before then. If the Dead Zone seasons one, two, three, four, five. I think the only one I'm missing is season six. That's a pretty decent show. Kingdom Hospital. It's a Stephen King series. I think it's based off of, um, I think it's a Dutch show. Nightmares and Dreamscapes, also Stephen King. Beetlejuice, the complete series. Uh, Witchblade, Birds of Prey, Full House. Uh, none of those are horror. Charmed, the complete se first season on Blu-ray. Stranger Things, season one. Fear itself, the complete first season. Which is a pretty cool show based off of the uh, Masters of Horror series. Then we have my Goosebumps collection, as well as a Nightmare Room DVD. And this here is um, a bootleg of Are You Afraid of the Dark? I actually 
bought this bootleg when I was 10 years old. There was no other way to buy it on DVD and you couldn't watch the episodes online. So I, I bought the uh, bootleg and made my own case for it when I was a kid. So that's what that is. All right, now we're getting into the actual horror films. So this is my Scream Factory collection. It's all of this, all of that all the way down. And then there's a little bit more over there. I don't have everything, but I have a good chunk of Scream Factory. So we have Terror Vision and the Video Dead double feature. From Beyond by Stuart Gordon. Die Monster Die with Boris Karloff. The Beast of Hollow Mountain and the, Neander the Neanderthal Man. It's hard to say. Sleepaway Camp, one of my favorite slasher films. One of my favorite films in general. Without Warning. Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2, The Outing and The Godsend, Cellar Dweller and Catacombs. I really like Cellar Dweller. It's a kind of a cute horror film. I Madman. If you like pulp horror, you would really like this movie. Ghost Town, Blood and Lace. The Curse and Curse 2, The Bite. Sunny Boy, David Carradine. Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers 2. Lady in White, Up From the Depths. The Velvet Vampire, one of my favorite vampire films. The House That Screamed, Firestarter. What's the Matter with Helen? I haven't watched this one yet. The Vampire. Screaming Skull. Pretty decent little black and white movie. I Bury the Living. The Four Skulls of Jonathan Drake. The Bat People. The Manster. Half Man, Half Monster. That one's a fun one. Ninja 3, The Domination. One of my favorites. This movie is bonkers and I love it. Strays. I saw this when I was a kid on the sci-fi channel. I always mistaken it for Pet Cemetery, and when I got much older I finally watched Pet Cemetery, and I'm like this is not the movie I remember. <laughs> so I was thinking of Strays the whole time. House or sorry Horror of, of Frankenstein not House of Frankenstein. It's a different one. The Devil Rides Out really good hammer film. Let's Scare Jessica to Death, another favorite. Next we have the Vincent Price Collection, Volume 1. Volume 2. Universal Horror Collection, Volume 1. Paul Nashie Collection, Volume 1. It's a Live Trilogy, which has all three films. The Wreck Collection, with all four movies. The Critters Collection four films. The Omen Collection, which has all five movies. The Fly Collection, my beautiful Friday the 13th complete collection. This is my dream box set and I'm so glad Scream Factory put this out. It is the best thing in existence. <laughs> uh, we also have Creepshow Classic. Terror Train, Dolls, Mad Max, People Under the Stairs, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight and Bordillo of Blood, Army of Darkness, Return of the Living Dead, one of my favorite movies. Return of the Living Dead Part 2, Carrie, and we also have Rabid, Black Christmas, which I'm getting in the mood to watch, Tales from the Hood, The Lawnmower Man, Species, Slither, Teen Wolf 1, 
and two. Dawn of the Dead remake. Land of the Dead. Misery. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Hell Night. Drag Me to Hell. The Strangers. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. And the Mouth of Madness. Ghost Stories. Exorcist 2, The Heretic, House on Haunted Hill, the remake, Trick or Treat, Sleepwalkers, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, Urban Legend, Dracula Prince of Darkness, Cobra, Sylvester Stallone, Valentine, Silent Hill, John Carpenter's Vampires, Dracula, this is the 70s movie, Big Trouble in Little China, Silver Bullet, My Bloody Valentine, Pet Cemetery 2, I started putting these covers on these movies so I need to do the rest for the other movies, April Fool's Day, the Evil of Frankenstein. Now we're getting into my Scream Factory steel books. So we have The Howling, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Night of the Demons, Life Force, The Thing, Piranha, and Humanoids from the Deep. I also have Forbidden World. These are all Roger Corman movies. Galaxy of Terror. Slumber Party Massacre. Motel Hell. And classic Pumpkinhead. I also have the Eureka limited edition of Fright Night. Looks like a VHS tape, but it's actually a Blu-ray. Couple of Full Moon movies. Full Moon is one of my favorite companies. Uh, we have Demonic Toys, Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, Toulon's Revenge, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich, and now we're going into all of my Vinegar Syndrome movies. Vinegar Syndrome is one of my very favorite companies. We have Night Train to Terror. Raw Force, Hobgoblin, sorry, Hobgoblins, Christmas Evil, Demonoid, Pigs, Psychic Killer, Evils of the Night, Jack Frost, the Lanticular Slipcover, Slaughterhouse, Psycho Cop Returns, The Corpse Grinders, Demon Wind, Demon Wind with the Lanticular Slipcase, Ice Cream Man, Grave Robbers, which I didn't really like. I might get rid of that at some point. Blood Theater. House of the Dead, Dear Dead Delilah, Body Melt, that was a fun one, The Dead Come Home, aka The House on Tombstone Hill, aka Dead Dudes in the House, that one's got a lot of titles, Cutting Class, one of uh, Brad Pitt's very first movies. The Children, Mausoleum, Favorite, Uninvited, another favorite. There's nothing out there. Sl or sorry, Splatter University, 
Wacko, which is another one that I did not like. I'm probably gonna get rid of that one. It's kind of a dumb spoof. It wasn't very funny. The Suckling. Grandmother's House. The Corruption of Chris Miller. Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Night Beast. I love that one. It's a lot of fun. Play Dead. Hellmaster. This one's a really cool one. The Vineyard. Beyond Evil. Hell Comes to Frogtown. That's a favorite. Whole lot of fun. The Amityville Cursed Collection, which has Amityville Horror. The Evil Escapes, Amityville 1992, It's About Time, Amityville A New Generation, and Amityville Dollhouse. I actually really love all those movies. Those are a nice, good time. We have Beyond the Door 3, which has nothing to do with all the other movies. Unmasked, uh, Unmasked Part 25, Berserker, Spookies, love that movie. Candy Snatchers, Tammy and the T-Rex, Flesh Eating Mothers, we have Zombie Island Massacre, Extro 3, which I watched recently and hated it. I love the first Extro movie, it's so weird. This one was just boring. Next we have The Forgotten Jolly, Volume 1. Hollywood Horror House. I haven't watched very many of these ones yet. Deadline. Dolly Dearest, that's a good one. Patty Hearst, which isn't a horror film, but it's released by Vinegar Syndrome, so I put it in here. The Immortalizer. Blood Games. The Severed Arm. Killing Birds, a.k.a. Zombie 5. Memorial Valley Massacre. Uh, this one is called, I think it's Grave Robbers. I haven't watched that one yet. Uh, Cemeterio del Terror. Just Cemetery of Terror. Rest in Pieces, which I'm currently watching. Whodunit. Deadly Games, a.k.a. Dial Code Santa Claus. That one's on Shudder if you want a Christmas horror film to watch. Evil Town. Spellcaster. Necromancer. Mimic, three film set. Has all three movies. And Psycho Circus, triple feature, which has The Brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Satan. Torture Garden, and The Creeping Flesh. All right, next up, we are going into my indi Indicator collection. I can't talk today for some reason. I have my William Castle Volume 1 collection, which has The Tingler, 13 Ghosts, Homicide, Homicidal, and Mr. Sardonicus. This is um, a figure from Demonic Toys. We have my Hammer collections so volume one fear warning and volume two faces of fear we have the bloody terror collection which has films by norman j warren this has uh satan's slave prey terror and seminoid and a bloody new year we also have night of the demon when a stranger calls the second sight release uh, the House That Dripped Blood, very, very good Hammer, or sorry, Amicus movie. And now we're getting into all of my Arrow Blu-rays. So we have American Werewolf in London, uh, Robocop, Last House on the Left, Hills Have Eyes, The Hills Have Eyes Part Two, and Candyman. And we're moving on down to the rest of my Arrow films. We have Crimson Peak, 
Macabre Visions, the films of Mario Bava. It has a bunch of Mario Bava's films. Donnie Darko, one of my favorite movies of all time. Reanimator. The Ring Collection has all of the uh, Japanese Ring films. Between Night and Dawn, George A. Romero has three of his movies. There's Always Vanilla, Season of the Witch, and The Crazy. Bird with the Crystal Plumage. These are all my Dario Argento films. Cat of Nine Tails. Deep Red. Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead. And we have this Black Cats collection, which has The Black Cat by Lucio Fulci. And Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key by Sergio Martino. Beyond the Door, the House collection, which features all four House movies. The Hellraiser collection, which features the first three Hellraiser films. Bloodbath, Blood and Black Lace by Mario Bava. Ooh, these are kind of stuck together. It's a little tight. Uh, we just won't pull those out. We have Children of the Corn and the One Missed Call Trilogy. And here we have even more Arrow. So we have Evil Ed, Creepshow 2, Slugs, Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Chud, The Prey, Deadly Manor, Doom Asylum, Edge of the Axe, really, really good 80s slasher. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Basket Case, Brain Damage. And we have some blue underground titles like Zombie, Classic Scene, <laughs> House by the Cemetery, which I think is my favorite Lucia Fulci movie. We have Maniac. Two Evil Eyes, Dead of Night, Amsterdam, The Lift, and its remake, The Shaft. Here are my Severin movies. We have The Beast in the Cellar, Burial Ground, crazy, crazy zombie movie, The Changeling, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Three, which is not actually Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. This is an uh, Italian unofficial sequel. It's also called Night Killer in the States. Killer Crocodile. Wax Mask. Horrors of Spider Island. The Amicus Collection, which features Asylum, which is one of my favorites. And now the screaming starts, the beast must die, and the vault of Amicus, which is just a bunch of Amicus trailers. We also have the Hemisphere Horrors box set, which features Curse of the Vampires, Blood Drinkers, Blood uh, or Brain of Blood, and the Black Cat. Also includes the Torture Chamber of Doctor Sadism, which I have not watched yet. And next we have the Blood Island collection featuring terror is a man brides of blood mad doctor of blood island and beast of blood and right here is the jack the ripper i actually totally forgot i had this <laughs> and the crawling eye on dvd now we are at the bottom the last two shelves we have halloween the original uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers, Producer's Cut, and then this one has um, the R-rated version, and then Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, it's one of the most terrible movies ever made, Halloween 2018, Steelbook, They Live, 
4K Collector's Edition, Prince of Darkness, 4K Collector's Edition, Someone's Watching Me by John Carpenter, Children of the Living Dead, Red Eye, Wes Craven, Cursed, the unrated version, the Nightmare on Film, sorry, Nightmare on Elm Street collection, Nightmare on Film Street is a podcast that I listen to, Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Carnival of Souls, one of my favorite movies of all time. This is Vampire, or Vampire, however you want to pronounce it. We also have Scanners, Eraserhead, another one of my favorite movies. Don't Look Now, the original Night of the Living Dead. This four film pack, which has My Best Friend is a Vampire, Repossessed, Slaughter High, and Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, you better watch out. Killing Mr. Griffin, the 90s TV movie, based off the book. The Hollow, Sleepy Hollow High, Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes, I think that's the fourth movie. Python 2, Boa vs. Python, Venomous, getting into my snake movies, Lake Placid, the Killer Shrews and Giant Gila Monster double feature. Day of the World Ended and the Sheep Creature double feature. How to Make a Monster and Blood of Dracula. Village of the Damned and Children of the Damned. Freaks by Todd Browning. Classic. Down here we have the Inner Sanctum Mysteries featuring Lon Chaney Jr. The Universal Classic Monsters complete 30 film collection. The Wolfman remake, Hammer Horror 8 film collection, Horror of Dracula, and then this set here which features a few different Hammer Dracula films, The Terror with Boris Karloff. This is my Stephen King section. So we have 1408, Quicksilver Highway, the Tommyknockers, Storm of the Century, which is one of my favorite Stephen King stories ever. Rose Red. Diary of Ellen Rimbauer, which goes with Rose Red. The Shining Remake. Cujo. This is the Eureka Limited Edition. The Stand. Pet Cemetery Steelbook. 4K. Cat's Eye. Salem's Lot. The original It. Christine and Secret Window. And then down here we have Monster Squad, Blade. Uh, I still know what you did last summer. I know what you did last summer. The Craft and Amusement. And we finally made it to the other side of the room. So up here on the very top shelf, this is pretty tight. I'm gonna have to take some of these off. We have Arachnophobia, the only movie that actually scares me every time I watch it because I hate spiders. Six Souls, I haven't watched that one yet. Deliverance, Near Dark, I hope they do a new Blu-ray of that at some point. Lost Boys, Underworld, Underworld Rise of the Lycans, which is the third movie, also a prequel. Boneyard, love that cover. Child's Play. The X-Files, I Want to Believe, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, The Blair Witch Project, Blair Witch, that's the uh, one that came out in 2017 or 2018, I can't remember, Deep Blue Sea, super fun shark movie, Deep Blue Sea 2, which was awful, Magic with Anthony Hopkins, great film, highly recommend that one, this 13 film set of a bunch of random horror films. The Cave. We also have Shadow Zone, The Undead Express, The Last Broadcast, Mockumentary, Dr. Giggles, Halloween, The Happy Haunting of America, it's a documentary, Sci-Fi Boys, Dark Water, the original, The Eye 2, 
VI American Remake, Shudder, The Grudge, The Ring. These are all the American remakes. Cabin in the Woods, American Psycho, Doom. I uh, also have Resident Evil Extinction and Resident Evil, the first one. Those are the only two that I decided to keep because the other movies kind of suck. These were the only ones I liked. Der Golem, The Golem, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, Night School, Wait Until Dark with Audrey Hepburn, Bad Ronald, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, The Haunting, The Haunting Remake from the 90s, Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss, and Prom Night 4, Deliver Us From Evil. Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror double feature. The Ghoul. Bats. Cape Fear, the original. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Three film collection featuring the last three movies. And then we also have the Sleepaway Camp uh, limited edition collection from, I think, the early 2000s. Might even been late 90s I can't remember anyway this is an old collection very very rare because it went out of print because it has the red cross on there and they uh, had to pull it because they didn't get permission to use the red cross on the cover next we have some of my M. Night Shyamalan movies so we have Unbreakable, The Village, Signs, The Visit, this uh, double feature that has When a Stranger Calls and Happy Birthday to Me, which is the reason why I kept this. I actually have a limited edition of that one. When a Stranger Calls, the remake, which I actually kind of like. Uh, it's fun. I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's entertaining. The Cameron's Closet. 20 film horror set. From Beyond the Grave, I love this movie. Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the original TV movie. Mystery of the Wax Museum, which is what House of Wax was based off of. So there's the Vincent Price House of Wax. To Catch a Thief, Alfred Hitchcock. Dial M for Murder, Rebecca. Notorious, Psycho, Psycho 2, 3, and 4. We also have the classic Troll 2. Uh, the Old Dark House, Boris Karloff, Suspiria. Opera, one of my favorite Argento films. The Sect. House on Sorority Row. Humongous. Leprechaun, the complete movie collection. The Alien Anthology. Prometheus, Alien vs. Predator, Predators, the third movie, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Abominable, The Unnameable, HP Lovecraft, Poltergeist 2, and Krampus. Next we have a double feature, It and The Shuttered Room. Dark Harvest, Frankenstein Meets the Space Monster, Return of the Vampire, Strange Invaders and Invaders from Mars, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 70s movie, Nightmare Beach, Rats, Night of Terror, Paganini Horror, The Anaconda Quadrilogy, these are all of my Vestron Blu-rays. So we have Waxwork and Waxwork 2. Chud 2, Bud the Chud. Wishmaster Collection. The Unholy. Warlock Collection. Slaughter High. Beyond Reanimator. Dagon. Maximum Overdrive. Shivers. And Little Monsters. Down here we have Abracadabra, Rawhead Rex, The Undying Monster, 
Madhouse with Vincent Price, Twice Told Tales, Tales of Terror, The Pit, Beware the Blob, Burnt Offerings, Deranged, The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane, and this is my Godzilla collection. So we have Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, Godzilla 1984, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla vs. Destroya, Godzilla vs. Megas, sorry, Mega, Gareer, ah, damn it, I don't know, that's always been one I've had a hard time pronouncing, Godzilla 2000, Godzilla Mothra vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Final Wars, the Godzilla 90s remake, King Kong, King Kong vs. Godzilla, the original King Kong, and we have the Tremors Attack Pack, which features the first four movies. We have some VHS tapes, so I don't have too many. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of VHS tapes over the years just because they take up so much room, and then I start collecting them again, and then I get rid of them again, and I just can't decide what I want to do. So, you can see there's some horror mixed in here. I think the rarest thing I have is Alien Predators at the moment. Uh, the Legend of Sleepy Hollow VHS tape is also pretty rare from what I remember. Um, yeah, got some X-Files. Carnosaur, which I really hope they release on Blu-ray at some point. And on the top shelf on this side, we have the Phantasm Collection, Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3, Jaws 5, Cruel Jaws, which is not actually Jaws 5, that's just how it was released in Italy. It's actually just called Cruel Jaws here in the, in the States. Matinee, really fun 90s movie with John Goodman. Not really horror, but it's a good one. The Burbs. Yeti Giant of the 20th Century Insect Cool slipcover It's got like glow in the dark Things on it Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield Lane Super 8, Cruel uh, So that kind of just gets into the science fiction And family films Disney and all of that I won't go through all of those I also have a few more horror films On top of my TV Um and mostly Goosebumps. So we have my whole Goosebumps collection, My Teacher Ate My Homework, Pinocchio's Revenge, uh, the Bone Chillers series, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And yeah, that's it. There you have it. That is my horror movie collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video to get more content from me. Thank you again. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, creeps.